We are set and ready to go and tip off. It goes right out of bounds and it's going to belong to the Miami Hurricanes. Hey, there is Katie Meyer, the Dean of Coaches, currently among all active within the ACC, led her program to its first ever Elite Eight last season, a dream season it was. And this year, obviously, another new look for this group, but certainly some carryover pieces from before that she feels confident can help get it done. Jasmine Roberts with the ball in her hand had a terrific Final Four, excuse me, terrific NCAA tournament. One of those players that blossomed for her Hurricanes. She is one of the holdovers, Tiffany, but you mentioned as we have an early turnover. The University of Florida along with Sydney Taylor. Taylor pulls up the jumper. He is off the mark. And the last touch by the Cardinals will be Miami basketball. The rebounding battle is going to be very important in this game, and he was wanting to emphasize that to his team, that they need to do that well to win this game. They're very excited about it. She's coming off a double-double. And coming up with the rebound and back the other way. Here's Jada Patrick on the move for the Hurricanes. Dwyer on the take strong and just pops out, but she'll go to the line. Back to, I believe it was Jefferson who was guarding Dwyer. The one-on-one -on -one defense. Miami team currently last in the ACC from the free throw line. But Tiffany, is the fact that Coach Meyer seems to think that Louisville can always get her post in foul trouble, which does reign true as Old Acre, who started the game, the McDonald's All-American for Miami, is already on the bench with two fouls. Ricards with the take to the bucket. And a Wilson with ACC experience came over from Duke. Dwyer looking around. They dump it inside. Spearman with great position. Louisville, and that's what you want to do on a team like Miami, where they dribble drive so much. If you can get position and take charges, that can be a game changer. Good job by Marissa Russell. And good hustle there by Ricards to hang on to it. Louisville retains possession. Marissa Russell, number 13, for the Cardinals, checked in. A nice reverse layup up and Strong move from Olivia Cochran. She is such a hard player to guard because she's so quick and athletic as a post player. The quickness there showed off by Cheyenne Day Wilson. Great team defense from Miami. And going right at Cochran, who rejects that one. On the offensive rebound, coming off 14 and 10 versus Alabama State a couple days ago, and you can see the upside if you're watching this game with Lazaria Spearman. Love it. That's what that's what you got to do, Kelly. You got to shout them out. Shout them out. That's right. They're working hard. That's right. Average 16 makes a game. Jackson Roberts is the lone figure, lone player in double figures with 11 points per game. Rebound brought in by Kiki Jefferson. Jefferson, who is two points away from 2,000 career points, and on cue, there it is. That's career point number 2,000 for Kiki Jefferson. She has been probably the most consistent scorer on the floor on either of these teams. She can score at all three levels, and you'll see that throughout this game, but... Jasmine Roberts, she had such an exceptional NCAA tournament. Just got that bucket there for Miami. I think Coach Meyer is excited to see how she continues to progress. She's still a very young player and how she can carry them in the second part of the season. Yeah, the way she shined last year made everyone take notice. And there, the big bucket from Nyla Harris. Harris, who went up strong to the hoop, the and one. And Nyla Harris, the sophomore out of Orlando, Florida. But let's go back to Kiki Jefferson again. First year, the graduate transfer. 130 games played in her career and 2,000 career points. And as a sharpshooter out of Clemson, Kelly, how tough is that to amass? I mean, that's always impressive. You always have to shout it out when it happens. 2,000 career points in college is an incredible feat. I don't care where you did it. I don't care. Going to work is Dave Wilson. Nice spin move, jumper floater in the lane. And she's one that can come in and turn things around. Not turn things around, but turn up the scoring for this Miami group. Another transfer from Duke. 
was the ACC Rookie of the Year a couple of years ago and can score in bunches. High off the glass and Jada Curry coming over from Georgia Tech and getting her first two points of the game. The offensive charges. That's Kiki Jefferson. I think that's her second charge that she's taken of the game. The bench got hype. Coach Walls got hype. That is a point of emphasis for Louisville in this matchup. Nice dish down to Harris. Harris, tough shot, going at it again. Going back to your point, Kelly, it was a matter of following the scouting report, something that they didn't do against UConn. And this time around, he says, look, we are going to put a greater emphasis on following that scouting report and being strong on defense. I think that was a good call as she stepped into Jalea Williams' path. But this is what makes Miami so hard. You have to bring that defensive intensity for 40 minutes. That's difficult to do against a team that's so athletic like Miami. One of two and going for the rebound. It's number three, NC State taking on Virginia. Of course, everyone, we hope you have a safe and They're a really great team who can make it. Yes, NC State has been exceptional. I, I've said this before. I think they had the best November ever, perhaps, beating UConn in Colorado. Colorado was top five, so was UConn. But their depth, similar to these teams here, their depth at NC State is very impressive. They do have Sanaya Rivers and Isaiah James who are scoring the ball at a little higher. We played four games on ACC Network today. Every game is featuring at least one ranked team. That, yeah. That's impressive. And this Miami team is seeing Lamaya Hilton knock down the three and then the follow up from Cheyenne Day Wilson. The Hurricanes receiving votes also in the polls. I mean, the ACC stack from top to bottom as the answer back the other way from Elia Love. Miami has to be careful. They pressed there. They got up in Louisville's face and Louisville beat that press with just a couple of passes. So if you're going to press, spark five points now. for the Hurricanes guard. And what a rejection there from Latasha Lattimore. Lattimore with just that length stretching out all six foot four for that wingspan great. Step back three for Davidson and rhythm, yes man. Massive momentum shift for them for Miami. Big block by Lattimore. You come down the other way and hit a three. That's how you gain momentum at the end of a quarter if you're the Canes. Both teams shooting excellent in this first quarter, 56% or better. And that one rolls off the rim. But the put back and the follow through from Harris and Nyla Harris. Brings them up within three. Destiny Harden hit the game-winning fadeaway jumper and then ran out of the building, which was just amazing. So these two always have exciting games. However, Jeff Walls is 8-2 and two versus Miami, and a Jeff Walls coach Louisville has never lost in my These two plays close games. It goes either way, but Jeff Walls has actually had a lot of success against Miami. So you talk about the undefeated uh, stay that he's had anytime he goes down to Coral Gables. We think about this Miami team who is perfect at home this season and in fact has a 17 game winning streak, has not lost at home. In Off the mark there as it's 25 20 in favor of Miami. It's been a balanced attack with Dave Wilson, seven points, Lamaya Hilton with five, Jasmine Roberts with six for the Canes. Spreading it out, getting the scope, under 10 to go on the shot clock. Williams has to get it in inside of Latasha Lattimore. That was zipped. The way she looked off the defender. She looked with her eyes like she was going to pass to the top of the key and then zipped it inside to Lattimore. Well done. And that one rolls around as Love picks up another two points. Leah Love coming off the bench with four points. And Debbie Antonelli and Jen Hildreth will join us after this one for that NC State Virginia game. Make sure you stay tuned. Sydney Taylor 
Inside, the Olivia Cochran, and Cochran gets it to go. And Cochran coming off her fifth straight double-figure game. 14 points was efficient from the floor. And a large percentage of both of their points have come in the paint. The pull-up. And Dwyer with three to go on the shot clock. Let's it fly. Off the mark. And out and running is Louisville on an 8 nothing wrong run trying to extend it here as Harris is wrestled to the floor. Dwyer. The step back in the lane and gets the free bounce. Shea Dwyer now with four points. She's one of four on the team. Hailing from north of the border in Canada with the Miami Hurricanes. When you hear South Beach, you don't think Canada, but you know no. what? Those Canadians, they know where they wanted to go, Tiffany. They wanted to go somewhere warm, and they're enjoying their time at the University of Miami. You know, when you think of it, South Beach and Miami, the sunshine, good weather, great program. I think she just has to show them the average temperature in January and they're sold. <laughs> off the rebound, Dwyer showing off some handles, trying to split a couple of defenders, and she had not For Louisville, every single player that plays for them shoots over 70% from the free throw line from your entire roster. It makes it very tough in late game situations too, Tiffany, because there's no one that you can fat and just give free throws to. So keep an eye on that. An excellent point because you don't want to put anyone of these players on the line in those type of tight situations. Here's Cochran facing up against Spearman and winning that battle. is Enough contact to make that call. And Wilson has had the hand for a portion of this game. They've gotten Spearman involved with Ali Stedman getting into the action. And then to come in and hit your first shot like that, you don't understand unless you have to do it how difficult that is. Here's Sydney Taylor with a great open look from three, won't go. But kind of a good foul for Louisville. You presented a fast break layup. A great defense there in the outstretched arms. And the Cardinals defender, Kiki Jackson. The turnover for Louisville. Can it convert into points on the other end? And Day Wilson is fouled. The Lattimore block and the Day Wilson three from the top of the key. 50% from the charity stripe are the Hurricanes. And one of two for Day Wilson, who extends her point total out to eight. Russell also picks up her dribble in the traveling violation call. Oh, it's being guarded by Jefferson. Tough pass over. Oh, thought about it. Instead, another tough shot with the hand in her face, but the teams are defending. I think Louisville had more to prove in that category, and I think they've done a pretty good job. Taking those three charges have been big for Louisville. And then for Miami, the guards haven't hurt uh, Miami as much. For Louisville, it's been a lot of that post play. So I think the guard defense has been good, but they are missing Old Acre a bit. In her stance. Over to Roberts. Roberts gets it right back. Being able to have active hands while getting ready to defend the ball screen, it's it's very tough to do because you have to get up, you got to get over that screen, whatever the, the plan is there. So Julia Williams just continue to show why she is an elite defender. Louisville has made more free throws than their opponents have attempted this season. Not sure a lot of teams can say that for themselves. In the rebound, coming up with it. And the steal here is Miami. And just left short by Julia Williams, wrestled away. 
That's the kind of opportunity that Miami needs to convert on. Jalea Williams getting a look in transition at the rim. You would love to see that fall if you're Katie Meyer. Louisville with a chance to tie or take the lead, and Curry ties it up right there with that land. 37 apiece. And the shot's not going to get up before the end of the first half. An entertaining one for both teams, shooting very well from the floor. More so for Louisville because of how much Miami likes to attack the rim. I felt like Louisville did a good job in the first half, took three charges. So keep an eye on that if they continue to try to draw those charges. For Miami, seeing someone emerge, and I thought for them it was Day Wilson at times. She scored the ball well. Can she continue to look for her own shot in the second half? Well, Kiki Jefferson off the mark, but a few chances for Louisville in this uh, opening possession of the third quarter. It's Olivia Cochran trying to go to work with Old Acre back on the floor. So we mentioned the two post players with two personal fouls apiece. And quickly, a whistle on the floor, and Old Acre picks up her third personal foul and will trot back to the bench within the first 35 seconds of the second half. That is brutal for Miami and for Old Acre. There's absolutely no rhythm for her right now. She's probably not going to play again until the fourth quarter. That's the last thing you wanted if you're Miami. Well, at this point in her career for Louisville. Off the mark, chasing down the rebound is Jasmine Roberts to keep it alive for the Hurricanes. The ball fake comes in a little bit closer. The 16-foot lag off or drop off from Louisville in terms of kind of getting their legs back under them quickly. You know, I have not seen that from Louisville, and that's just a testament to the Cardinals having good practices and being prepared. But it can be a difference. Game shape is a whole different game. First practice back from Christmas break is probably the toughest practice all year, but Louisville seems just fine. And I do think it helped Miami that they played Alabama State a couple of days ago and was able to get back in game shape that way. Yeah, good tune-up game before getting into conference play. As that's a long three from Jada Curry. In this game, you can see that she can flat out shoot the rock, and that's what Louisville needs. Cochran, they need her rebounding, and she has done her job thus far this afternoon and throughout the season. And Ricards misses a wide open layup. Harris tried to put it back in, no good. Scoring with Nyla Harris. Big production from Curry off the bench so far. When you think about seniors, but when we talked to Jeff Walls earlier today, he says, look, I feel really good about this group. They're an old team. They haven't played as much together, but they've played a lot of college basketball collectively. And you're seeing a maturity with this team. And I've done quite a few Louisville games this year. It's obvious that Jeff Walls really likes this team. Well, the team that has shot exceptionally well from the three-point line is Miami and Lachey Dwyer adding in that first half. But Miami, we talked about that at the start of the broadcast. Hey, look, they are shooting from beyond the arc better than we've seen in a long time. And she has a wide open look. Miami shooting 40% from three in this game and shooting the ball really well from beyond the arc as a team. A one-point ball game here in the third quarter is Curry with a long two. You can tell the the basket is looking as big as the ocean to her right now. And let me tell you, Tiffany, that is the best feeling in the world. When you feel like you can't miss, keep shooting it. Wonderful. Oh, no relation here between <laughs> Steph Curry and Jada Curry, but the idea to meet your favorite player, okay, and one of the coldest in the game, I think she's uh, taking a few tips from Steph Curry, or maybe Steph Curry might be checking out Jada Curry right now. <laughs> you can tell by the way she plays that she loves Steph, and there are so many players of this generation that love Steph, of course, uh, who doesn't, but you can tell there's some inspiration there, and that's so cool that she got to meet her favorite player. Yeah, better than 18 points a game. Right now, she's got 17 in this matchup against Miami. She can shoot it. And the difference is that Cal, she was a volume shooter, right? She was option A in the offense. She was getting 20 shots a game. So she is being super efficient right now, earning 
more minutes in this game coming off the bench for Louisville. And just adjusting from being option A to maybe option B or C, it can be difficult, but she's doing well so far in this game. Louisville turns it over. Good opportunity here for Miami. Under the basket, Jada Patrick goes up and in. That's how quickly basketball can change. you got to have a short memory. We were just talking about Jada Curry and her score. Well, Patrick, who is a strong finisher around the rim, sees Olivia Cochran pick up her third personal foul. So good job on her to try to get the big inside. And some foul trouble for the Cardinals. On the take, and every time you watch her, she's always got somebody on her trying to shake somebody, and she seems to see him go down more often than not. And we've talked about her consistency. That's what she's doing for Louisville. That's what it's been like all game long. One point separates these two teams in this ACC opener. Stolen away. What great effort. Cards on the inbound, looking, looking. There's Cochran and Cochran. Day Wilson splits through and gets it up and in. Curry had that one deflected as she and Williams fall to the floor, but Julia Williams popping back up a little start and stop. And Lamaya Hilton too strong at that three-point attempt. Final seconds of the third quarter. And Curry is off the mark. Get two feet on the ground as she came down. It's hard to tell from that angle, but still not. Here's a better look at the foul that they called. They're saying that Day Wilson got in her cylinder where she was coming back down. I, I can see that. Um, back to down one, and here it is. The final shot of the third quarter, and it's no good. Louisville grabs the lead right back. In Both teams shooting the ball really well, and it's been a game played in the painted area, Tiffany. Absolutely right. You're talking about points in the paint. 36 for Louisville, 32 for Miami. Day Wilson thought about swinging it over to Hilton instead, keeps it, tries to go off the screen, top of the key three, just off the mark. Tracking down that rebound with Hilton and the old acre. Let's see if she can make her First quarter picked up a foul. The first 30 seconds of the third quarter came in a little bit at the end of the third. Five minutes on the floor for old acre. I mean, you talked about it just a second ago, Kelly, how well these two teams are shooting the basketball. I mean, even before that shot in terms of makes and misses. And I feel like both teams have played pretty well defensively, too. Some of these players are just making difficult shots. And how rare is it in a basketball game to see that before this possession right here, these teams had taken the same amount of shots and made kind of cement a little bit of a core here for this Hurricane squad. She has three steals today, averages over two per game. She's a problem, and she can create, and she can... You don't want to turn this into a charity strike contest. Virginia Tech traveling to Tallahassee to take on the Seminoles, and Duke and Notre Dame at six. That's coming your way next Saturday here on the ACC Network. On how both teams have fared from the charity strike thus far. You see the little graphic popping up 12 of 15 for Louisville, 10 of 14 for Miami. And what a big shot made there by Julia Williams. The triple in the corner, stretching out the lead to four now for Miami with just over six and a half to go in this ball game. Massive three ball from Jalea Williams, who's known for her defensive prowess. And then for what ACC play is going to be like, Kelly? This game always delivers. Miami Louisville, more often than not, it's a great game. It comes down to the wire, and it comes down to execution in the final five minutes. Which team can execute better? And there's
Matthews. Russell wants. If you want to make the post-entry pass to a post on the block, you have to get a better angle. You can't make that pass from the top of the key. You got to make it from the wing. Williams. Whew, the attack the little fake in the eyes of Julia Williams. Remember, she yes. had that excellent pass earlier, the look away to get it and zip it down low. Great point, Tiffany. She has been very good with that inside at the ball game at 69 apiece. And now the Cardinals have a chance to grab the lead back thanks to the efforts of Marissa Russell in this fourth quarter alone. Bounce pass and just off the foot. She only knocked down eight threes, a 27% three-point shooter, but that is the negate. It doesn't matter at all here today and what she's done in this final quarter. And there's the steal. One of many players on this roster shooting 70%. <laughs> Williams over to Roberts, but some contact between Spearman. And they're going to full court here. And trying to make it difficult for Marissa Russell to get it across half court. She does so. The cards pulls it out. Final two minutes of regulation. Here's Jada Curry, who has had an outstanding afternoon. Well done by Hilton, getting a possession back for Miami. A great way for Miami to get the ball back now, trailing by two. Jasmine Roberts off the mark there. And jump ball had of course the best upcoming matches as well so much in store kelly and her crew will be there with kelsey riggs Ivory ladder coach muffet mcgraw join us we have a thing. good time yeah ladies night right <laughs> ladies night oh and a tough turnover there mental miscue as out of timeout jalea williams called for the traveling violation Tiffany, this is something that, honestly, officials don't normally call. Now, is that a travel? Yes. Do officials normally call that, stepping into your shot? No. So th that's interesting. I mean, textbook, yes, that's a travel. But sometimes officials just let that go. So I, I think it was a good call. And there, capitalizing on the other end is Louisville to make it a two-possession ball game. Final minute of the fourth quarter. And Hilton making a tough shot with the defender in her face. And bringing him within a bucket. Hilton's been really good for Miami in this fourth quarter. Just big bucket after big bucket. She's got 12, one of five scores for Miami in double figures. Meanwhile, it's been Nyla Harris carrying the show, double-double. For number one in Cardinal Red. That one rattles around for Nina Ricards. Ricards, who is one for four today, knocks down a crucial bucket with 13 points. Down by four, Miami with one. But you gotta go fast. You yep. gotta go fast. Into Old Acre and the turnover there. Olivia Cochran fought around and got her hand on that ball. These two have battled it out over the last several matchups and it's come down to one possession. Final seconds. I think they're gonna dribble drive and attack and all four guards out there for Miami are capable of doing that. But you gotta get the ball in. Gets it in, Lamaya Hilton with the long three off the mark. Julia Williams with the rebound, the foul up, 4.7 seconds remaining. What's changed in the women's game now, Tiffany, is you would say, all right, we're going to apply pressure and trap if we make both of these, which, of course, she misses the first. 
Knocks it down, and Jeff Walls and the Louisville Cardinals spend their second time out. Mm -hmm. On the inbound, Cochran gets it. One second goes off the clock. And the senior out of Georgia. I think of her as an OG on this ball club. She is. It's the lucky bounce there to go down. And they make it a two possession ball game. And Miami out of timeout. So they just got to get the ball in and go. We've seen 12 ties and 17 lead changes in this ball game. And the 19th ranked Louisville Cardinals remain undefeated in Coral Gables. And they finish this one out to open ACC play.